Next question is from Coral Fit Six. As a new trainer, I'm struggling with getting my clients to express how the workout is affecting them. I usually get only short answers like good. I try to get them to elaborate, but it seems like they don't know how. Any suggestions? Yeah, you got to get specific That's with right. what That's you're right. asking. That's your job. So, yeah, what are your fitness goals? I want to get in better shape, right? Or, you know, okay, well, what does that mean? You know, a couple of things you could do. One is ask, how do you mean? It's, it's actually more effective than saying, what do you mean? So if someone says, you know, how are your workouts affecting you? They're good. And you look at them and go, well, how do you mean? Sometimes I'll get them to elaborate, but oftentimes you need to be specific. Um, hey, how's your sleep? Uh, how's your energy? Are you noticing any differences in your energy? Is your mm -hmm. appetite any different? Are you noticing changes to your libido? Um, now that you're stronger in the gym, do you feel more stable outside of the gym when you're doing things at home? Mm -hmm. And oftentimes when you do that, people right. will go, oh, yeah. I How do your okay. joints feel? On a, on a level of 1 to 10, where's your soreness? Yeah. Would you say you're a 10, you're really sore? Or would you say you're not sore at all? Like yeah. Giving them the 1 to 10 thing for specific things I think is a really cool way because I understand where this question is coming from because clients don't they don't know how to articulate that. Mm -hmm. it's, this is completely foreign to them, and it is really on you to ask a lot of the right questions. If you ask a vague question to somebody that knows very little about your field, of course you're going to get a vague you, response. Here's your best yeah. example. This happens to every trainer who does a goal assessment, right? You'll ask a person, potential client, and you'll say, um, do you have any areas of pain on your body? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, if yeah. you leave it at that... There's your answer. Oh, do this. They'll it say all comes no. Out in the workout, oh yeah, no. They say no. Go down the body. Okay. Um, do you have any issues with neck pain or stiffness? Do you? What about your shoulders? What about your upper? And here's what's going to end up happening. You'll go down. And be like, what about your shoulders? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes mm -hmm. my left shoulder kind of bothers me. Like, okay, mm -hmm. left shoulder. Yeah, like, yeah. What about your low back? Your low back ever get tight? Well, uh, yeah, it gets tight if I sit down for longer than thirty minutes. Okay, low back tightness. What about your knees? What about? And then next thing you know, it was like. Five different areas yeah, yeah. of pain. Well, I always had those conversations in the workouts, you know, in the, in the rest periods, because I would I would observe, and if I had to in the beginning, I would write notes. But you know, you'd see where the compensations happened, or where right. they shrugged the shoulders, or you know, if they're holding their wrist, or you know, if they 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 wince a bit more than than normal, or like you know, if they're breathing excessively, you know. And so those those are the types of things I pay attention to and see, uh, you know, how I can how I can address those by then bringing them up to their attention. And and also like revisiting that uh, later on. No, that's a great time to do that. And that's where those, are, you know, you have so you have a client, you know, doing something as basic as a, a tricep push down on the cables and you're asking them like, you know, where do you feel that? And, and not what muscle, don't you ask them that because they don't know anatomy. You know, you know what they say sometimes? Where do you feel my, it? My core. Yeah, <laughs> that's why you need to ask those yeah. questions. You know, where do you feel it? You know, where do you feel, or even more specific, where do you feel it at the bottom of the of the movement? Where do you feel it at the top of the movement? Do you feel anything in your shoulders when you do it? Mm -hmm. Do you notice anything in your core when you do it? Do you feel your your chest? Yeah. You're asking Can all these- Can you squeeze your chest right now? Do that, you feel that? Like, right, and so you're asking all these very specific questions to the movement they're performing, at, and you're using layman's terms, okay? You're not using all the things that you learned in your search. You feel this in your latissimus dorsum. <laughs> yeah, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, 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 it's funny My because- But, you know, here's the deal, like- um, People are not aware of the benefits. This is true. The average person really isn't fully aware of the benefits of exercise and nutrition. In other words, they're not even aware that they're improving unless it's weight loss, right? So if you if you ask someone, how's your workout going? Oh, I lost 10 pounds. They know that. But if you say, hey, how's your workouts going? And they're getting better sleep, their skin looks better, they have more energy. They might not say, I don't know, I haven't lost any weight. I don't know how my workouts are going. People are literally not aware about all of these benefits because we've attached weight to it to exercise. That's it. That's the only thing that's important. They haven't attached right. anything else. But then when you get to specifics, I used to love doing this. Like, you know, hey, how's your workouts going? Oh, it's okay. I think I only lost a pound. Well, yeah, but how's your energy? And they'll think and they'll be like, you know, now that you say it, man, I feel way better. It's like you have to reveal this to people because they don't understand. That's mm -hmm. such an important point. So we talk because we talk on the show all the time about that's a a, a major uh, part of being a really good coach is actually getting these clients to get away from the the mirror and the scale. Like that's their their two ways right now of measure, measuring their success. That's the only two ways. It is, and and they and they always think that way. And you're trying to get them to stop thinking that way and really make because that's what. You getting them to stop thinking about the scale and the way they look, no matter how much they say that that's all they care about, is is what's going to really determine whether you keep these people going forever. Mm -hmm. Because the the scale and the weight thing that that will go up and down and change, and that will make them motivated and not motivated. And if you're if you're relying on that motivation to keep them in the gym, they'll fail. But if you learn as a coach 
to, as they're going through this process, start connecting it to their relationships, their energy, their attitude, their sleep, their libido, all these other things. If you can learn to help them make the connection that, oh, wow. And here's the cool thing about it being a coach and a trainer that I'll tell you. Here's the, here's the answer to the test. Guess what? When they're training and they're eating correctly, it improves all those fucking yep. things. Yeah. So you, it's kind of a rhetorical question, but you're helping them. You're getting them to say that. That's yep. what's important. You need, to, you need to get them to keep saying that like, oh, yeah, you know what? You're right. The since I actually increased my protein and increased my fiber, I do notice that my stomach feels better and I do notice I'm sleeping. You know what I'm saying? You need to, mm -hmm. as a coach, being very specific and getting them to say those things to make that connection. Yeah, remember, what you say can, can be true or false. What your client says is always true. So I could tell them all day long, exercise is going to give you so much energy and it's going to make you feel better or whatever. And they're going to be like, okay, that's fine, but I don't know. Is that true or not? But if I say, hey, how's your energy? And they go, huh. My energy is better. Boom. Now it's true. Hey, how's your libido? You know, now that you said that, man, my wife and I have had a great time since I started working out. Boom. Now it's true. Very important you do this as a coach.